follow is a very particular form of Christianity, one probably unrecognizable to the Western churches today. Yet this was the faith of the apostles who actually knew Jesus in the flesh. And if the manuscript I saw in St. Catherine's was to be believed, it was these forgotten traditions that St. Thomas may have taken with him to the East. At the end of a week of hard desert travel, have arrived at the Gulf of Aqaba. The modern resort of the Lambian Sea, and then follow the trade winds as they took his ship down the length of the Indian coast. It would have been a journey out of the familiar territory and customs of the Eastern Roman to the utterly foreign land of the Indian subcontinent, with a very different Hindu civilization. Moreover, its green fertility could not have been a more stark contrast to the desiccated hills of the Judean desert. It is in fact more than a legend, it is an article of faith which underpins their whole identity and their place in Indian society. There's a strange fresco above the doorway of the church. It was a conventional last judgment scene, but there were many strange idiosyncrasies. The devil was made to resemble the Hindu goddess Kali, the tradition the Portuguese had deliberately tried to cover up. For here, in the darkness, you can still find an image of St. Thomas, but with the dark skin and features of a man from the east. Or um, stone, which is secondary. 
we have a spirituality which is uh, very close to the spirituality of the early church. We would say we are as old as any apostolic church anywhere in the world. <laughs> This ceremony commemorates the feeding of the 5,000, an event that St. Thomas himself had witnessed. Yet while the original feeding of the 5,000 admitted everyone, some Christians are rigorously kept away from this celebration. Retained many of their old Hindu traditions and never forgot their original caste. As I soon discovered, the untouched of the bride who was born here and is herself a St. Thomas Christian. She has strong views on caste. In my book, most people say, how can I say that a civil Christian woman and a parliament who is a untouchable, a dalit, could have had a physical relationship?